this? Okay, here, I'm starting the recording. We're recording now. And I, I'll do most of the talking. I, we're going to test the dropping point on this grease. Kendra's going to do the work. I already and have the grease in. You already, uh, she's already taken the grease and stuffed it into one of these little uh, ca cups. There we go. Now, there's very little grease in there. After you fill it, you squeeze most of it back out again. You assemble it into this little uh, test tube arrangement with a the thermometer. And you, you stick it into the oven. The oven can test uh, like five or six samples at a time. We're just testing one. The oven's already pre-warmed. And what you do is, you stir through this window down here. And as the temperature slowly climbs, you wait and watch for a drop of oil to come out. You can actually see the bottom of the cup there sticking out. You watch for a drop of oil to appear there. Now, this takes a while. So we're going to make this video less boring by cutting out that weight. Okay, we're starting to see, at three minutes and seven seconds, we're starting to see a uh, little drop forming there. It's not quite ready to fall yet. I'll holler to you when it does drop. Can you get a reading? 360. Okay, we're, we're about there then. We're seeing a drop forming here, but it hasn't dropped yet. It's starting to droop. Okay, it's definitely uh, coming towards the drop. There it goes. It's on the way down. I'll tell you, Kendra, when it drops, there it goes. 380, 390. 390, okay. I doubt very much that that'll be visible uh, if I try to find it on the thermometer, so we won't even try. Okay, so now Kendra has to do a little calculation. There's a pen, Kendra. So she takes the temperature of the oven and the temperature uh, of the sample. We got the same thing here. We called it. We called it 27. Okay. Okay. So it'll be 27. Then 27 plus the 390 gives you 417. So the dropping point was 417. We checked the sample once before, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We got a very similar number. Okay. Good. Thank you.